take you to the candy shop. I let you lick the lollipop. Throw the girl, won't you stop? All right, to start off this tutorial, I'm taking this ColourPop shadow in the shade Tiki and blending that into my crease. I'm gonna build this up as much as I can. I want it super yellow. Then I'm taking this shade in from ColourPop and this one's called best coast scenario and putting that also in my crease and my outer corner we need this to be super orange so building this up is really important and also dragging it out a little bit past your outer corner is super important as well now i'm going into this limelight by alcone palette and taking the orange shade and just trying to deepen it up a little bit to kind of separate the orange and the yellow and not make it look just orange you know now i'm going to cut my crease so i'm taking the wet n wild concealer photo focus concealer and i'm just taking that on a concealer brush and cutting my crease i decided to make it a like i don't know even know what this is called but i decided to make it a, a wing i don't know what it's called <laughs> it has a pointy end okay it's not just a regular cut crease all right But so I'm just mapping out the shape I want and then I'm going to fill it in with the concealer. Then, since candy corn is white, yellow, and orange, I'm setting that with a white eyeshadow. I actually hate this white eyeshadow because it's kind of patchy, but whatever. Now I'm taking a really, really tiny nail art brush and that orange shade that I used earlier from the Limelight by Alcone palette and just tracing the outside of my crease, my cut crease so I can give it a little bit more dimension and make it a little bit sharper now i'm taking this color pop shadow in the shade oh ship and doing the same thing with that nail art brush just giving it more dimension after this i actually ended up going in and putting a shimmer shadow on my crease but I didn't like it because it transferred onto my cut crease so like I don't want you to do that so I cut it out of this video anyways now I'm drawing lines mapping out where I'm going to put the teeth for this skull also by the way I just used the same colors on my lower lash line just so y'all know okay now with the teeth i'm taking nyx jumbo pencil and i just depotted it so i'm taking it on a nail art brush and i'm going to be drawing candy corn as teeth so just draw a triangular shape because candy corns are triangular and i'm just going to do this for every single tooth in between those black lines and obviously the ones on the bottom are going to be upside down <laughs> All right, now I'm going in with um, this black eyeliner from Wet n Wild and I'm just 
filling in between the teeth with black so they don't look connected. And I'm drawing a line on the edges. I originally wasn't gonna do like the whole full skull thing with like the cheekbones cut out and everything. That wasn't my original plan. But after I filled in the candy corn, I was like, this looks kind of stupid. So you'll see what I mean. So here I'm taking the orange shadow best coast scenario from ColourPop. And I don't know why I started with orange, but I'm making these teeth into candy corn so just look at a picture of candy corn if you don't know what candy corn looks like and copy it basically now i'm going in with that same black pencil and just tracing out the teeth a little bit and I'm gonna shade in between. So I'm gonna blend out this pencil. That's why I like using coal eyeliner pencils because you can blend them out really easily. So I'm just drawing out where I'm gonna shade. I'm gonna shade in between these lines. This is where I decided I'm gonna do the cheekbones. So I just draw a line from my ear, kind of curve it up a little and then down and then for the bottom, just draw like where you want the teeth to end and bring it up to the top line. This is where I decided to add more teeth and I'm gonna add more later because I couldn't decide what I wanted this to look like and I never practice, ugh, I never practice, I can't fucking speak. I never practiced this before I did it, so whatever. Now I'm just going to take that black eyeliner and just fill it, fill this little like hole in black and I'm blending that out with just a regular, or this is actually a pencil brush, a really thick one. And I'm just going to blend that out there. I'm going to make this darker later. So we're just shading a little. So we look like we have holes in our face. Now this is where I'm shading in between the teeth just to, you know, we got to make it look a little bit real, you know? So we're just shading in between all the teeth because that's how it is. That's how skulls look. All right, this is where I decided to add more teeth. These teeth specifically are supposed to be a little bit darker because they are under, like in that hole. So it's okay if they're like a little bit off. And I actually did end up like putting a little bit of black over them because um, they are supposed to be a little bit more shaded because they are in the dark, like the dark part of the skull. So don't worry if it's not pure white. Then I just very lightly drew a line just to shade a little bit more, hollow it out a little. And I just blended it out really quick. Then taking that NYX Jumbo Pencil, I highlighted right above that line on my cheekbone. Well, where my cheekbone is. <laughs> and right underneath. Then I decided to do a nose. So I just drew a candy corn just like anything else and filled it in with the white, set it with white eyeshadow, then put the colors on. By the way, the lashes I'm wearing are Daisy from Blush Tribe. And the highlight I'm wearing is Gold Digger from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. <laughs> I was gonna leave the nose like this, but 
It didn't look right because the rest of the candy corn on my face was kind of outlined in black. So I ended up going in and outlining this candy corn in black also, and it made it look way better. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time with a new video. All my social media is in the description below. Bye.